Hi, I'm Kate Richborg, Director of Education here at Beeducation.com, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare charms to solder onto blanks. Soldering charms to blanks is a great way to make your own unique pendants. You can choose a charm that you like, making sure that it's either sterling silver or copper or gold filled. And with a few simple steps, you can prepare it so you'll be really successful when you solder it onto a metal blank. You can also embellish that blank with stamping or other designs to create something that'll be really unique in your very own designs. This is a pretty large, heavy charm, and so to be successful to soldering for soldering this charm onto this blank, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. The back of this heart charm, as you can see, is a little uneven. So when you sit it on top of the blank, there aren't a lot of connections between the back of this heart and the front of your blank. To be successful to, at soldering this piece, there needs to be a really tight connection between the back of this charm and the front of the blank where it's going to be soldered. So what I do to help that, along to really make sure and flatten that out and I'll go ahead and file the back of this heart charm so I create some flatter sections that are really going to connect well to the blank. The second thing I need to do to this heart charm is remove the loop at the top so you just see the single heart. So I would take a nice pair of wire cutters and go ahead and clip just around the ring here, removing the ring from the top of the heart. Then I would come in with a small needle file, like so, and give it a little filing just around the top there to remove any sharp burrs on top of the heart. Then you're ready to solder. You really want to make sure that your point of contact between the charm and the blank that you're going to be soldering on is nice and tight. This pendant here started out as just a flat blank and this domed sterling silver piece was soldered on top. If you want to do any decorative stamping, that's the first thing you do when you're preparing your blanks. So this domed blank here was stamped and then dapped, and this blank here was stamped first, and then the two pieces were soldered together. Here is a piece that I've already dapped using the dapping block, and when you use the dapping block to curve a piece, you want to make sure not to hit the edges of the blank too harshly with your dap. That will cause the edges of this blank to become uneven and you won't have a nice tight join between the domed piece and the piece that you're going to solder onto. You may also want to make sure that the connection is going to be as tight as you can get it by placing the blank, the domed blank, dome side up on your flat needle file and Give it just a little bit of filing and that will give you a nice flat edge along the rim of the blank and it will connect really nice and tightly onto the back part of your pendant. These little letter initials are perfect for soldering onto your metal blanks. They're nice and smooth on the back so you don't have to do any filing, but they are pretty teeny as you can see. What you want to do on this piece if you're attaching one of these initials to your blank is you don't want to use too much solder. Too much solder will actually run around the outside of the letter and make it look really messy. So this is a perfect candidate for your paste solder. You just want to use a very small amount. You want to go ahead and wipe away any residue from the solder from around the outside of the letter so that when you go ahead and melt your solder, you don't have any messy solder coming out the sides of your letter. 
Again, these are another simple way to attach these charms. This flat blank and these nice flat charms will go together nice and easily. You'll just have to cut away the top loop here from this charm. But notice that there are two of these uh, little stars placed on this blank. You can go ahead and set your piece up and put solder underneath both of these charms and just kind of push them into place and then solder them both at the same time. There's no need to solder one and then the other. In fact, I think you'll get a much better result if you just go ahead and pretend that this is all just one piece and solder it all together. You may notice that all of the pendants that are sitting here in front of me are gold-filled blanks that have sterling silver elements soldered to the top. Gold fill is actually very simple to solder and you would follow the same steps that I outline in our simple soldered pendant class using copper and silver. The thing to remember about gold filled is it is a carat gold that's clad onto a brass or base metal base. So you want to make sure that when you're soldering you don't let your torch linger over these metals for too long or else you're going to burn through the layer of gold on the top and expose the base metal below. You also want to be careful when you're antiquing the pieces that you don't polish them too aggressively and polish right through that gold layer. The gold filled layer on these, however, is pretty thick, so you don't need to be too delicate with them. You just want to be aware of its limitations.